that was probably wave one, wave two, and wave three. All right. I'm gonna guess this is Iceman. Yep, he's got an X on his belt. Just looks a little boring. Not dissing the X-Men. Iceman actually was one of my favorite X-Men. He's got an iced out six pack. I wonder if he has to work out or he can just like sculpt himself. Ooh. Is this Blade? Double check, yup, it's Blade. Vampire Killer. Half breed, half vampire, half human, can walk in the daytime. But he's got a long sword with a nice sharp dagger for killing vamps. A bunch of ammo around him, pistol on the hip, sunglasses of course. Looking like a badass mamma jamma. Okay, another one for Team Marvel. We've got She-Hulk. So I don't know much about She-Hulk, but I'm guessing it's Hulk's cousin or sister or something like that. She's got the white and purple like leotard matched with the purple gloves. She probably likes to smash stuff. She-Hulk coming soon to I think uh, maybe Disney Plus or one of those things, but there's rumors. Maybe some casting too, not sure, but I'm excited to see her in the future. Another for the Marvel gang. We've got Loki here. We've got this like wrapped around ponytail ribbon, uh, not to mention his huge horns on his helmet. We've seen those in Avengers, of course, but this is much more of a you know comic accurate, bright yellow, bright green Loki outfit. I love this. Things like this uh, that hang off can be easily breakable, so it looks like this was glued back on. You know, I don't plan on selling most of these, so um, looks fine for me. Next up, we've got Batman, the Dark Knight himself. First thing I saw was uh, his ear is bent. <laughs> the gray and black with the yellow belt. This is just a, a classic Batman and he's gonna go right there with his rogues gallery. Doctor Strange. We've got the old school comic accurate Stephen Strange casting a spell with his spidey hands. The sky blue, the white emblem on his chest, yellow gloves, of course his infamous cape. And those black leggings are doing him justice. Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange. Let's keep it rolling, yeah. Nice. Blue Beetle has a great story. He's definitely on my top 15 superheroes. He is a kid that got chosen by an alien scarab to wear this foreign alien tech. They have to use him coming up in the DC Universe somewhere. I really hope so because Blue Beetle, great character. Oh, he's been a staple in DC culture for years. Oh, he's taped closed. Here's Superman. Nothing too special about his pose. He's just standing very stoic. We've got the classic blue, yellow, red Superman suit. Kind of looks like he could use a leg day. I mean, his traps and chest are just massive. This is perfect to go right after Superman. Doomsday and Supes fight it out in Metropolis to the death. Now we've got him holding Superman's cape here. This Doomsday is very comic accurate with his long hair, spiky shoulders. He's heavy. I want to see if he's just as heavy as, as Hulk. Oh, it's so close. Too close to call. Man, the detail on him is fantastic. Doomsday, baby! I know who this is. And I think you do too. Yes, we've got an absolutely insane looking Red Skull. He's cackling with his guns up in the air. And we've got the red stripe across his chest. Long trench coat. I think this is a great expression for Red Skull. Just shows you how crazy he really is. We've got a, a full box for this one. And the outside says Dark Side. Huh, so I guess all of them came with these sleeves. I just don't have them. But like I said, the guy who sold me these statues threw these in as a bonus. So, I mean, I am overly joyed with all of these characters and statues. This is fantastic. So this is Darkseid. He is a main DC villain. 
basically Thanos from the MCU. I mean, this is like as throwback of a costume you can get for Dark Side. He's got the shirt skirt combo, like he's wearing a dress. I mean, not much in the pose, just like kind of crippling hands, just anger seeping out his red eyes. All right, let's keep it moving forward with Flash. Nobody moves forward faster than Flash. So we've got like a, a burnt orange Flash here. It's like bright, we've got the yellow boots. He's crossing his arms like, yep, nobody's quicker than me. Gold lightning bolts on the side of his head. That's a good looking Barry Allen. Wait! All right, one of the most iconic superheroes ever. The Webbed Menace. The, I can't think of any nicknames for Spider-Man right now. But we've got Peter Parker, Spider-Man. You know, not much going on with the pose here, just a, you know, closed fist. Not as heavy as the rest of them, but there's not really much to Peter Parker. Just kind of a straight up and down body, no cape, no helmets, no weapons. There it is, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. All right, going to the villain side of DC, we've got Ra's al Ghul. Now, back in the day, they pronounced it Ra's al Ghul, I'm pretty sure, because um, they didn't have Google. This cape is ridiculous. Ra's al Ghul, also known as the Demon's Head, is one of Batman's greatest villains. They've been fighting for centuries. I mean, Batman is only like 85 years old, so I guess they've been fighting for 85 years. According to Screen Rant, his first ever appearance in the DC... So he's been fighting Batman for 81 years. He owns a jacuzzi slash fountain of youth called the Lazarus Pit which basically brings people back from the dead and keeps him young. So this guy has been around for centuries and I hope this statue will be too. God, that was dumb. All right, we've got Bizarro next. Yes, I said it, Bizarro. Does everything opposite of Soup's. He's got his tattered cape. The S on his chest is backwards, of course. Looks like he just woke up from the dead metal around his neck. It looks like he almost made it himself that says Bizarro number one. Ooh, hmm. this might be my first wrong answer, but I'm gonna go with Marvel. Okay, it's Captain Marvel. But there's just been so many looks for this character throughout the years. I mean, come on, do you blame me? Captain Marvel is not someone I know a lot about, so uh, he's got white hair, which I've never really seen this suit on him or this interpretation. Interesting. Interesting. There you go, Captain Marvel. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, the first Avenger, folks. Captain America. Wielding his iconic shield. He's got the wings on his head, the scales on his shirt. The detail is great in this. Nice and heavy. Lead, of course. Captain America, the first Avenger. Almost done with wave two. All right, let's see here. Oh, wow. This might be my second one getting wrong, mainly because I can't pronounce his name, but we've got Batmite and Mixilis Pixie. Mix, Mixil, I don't know how to say it, but these are the two people that annoy Batman and Superman the most. I don't think they're actually people. Batmite is a, uh, a magical creature from like the fifth dimension. And then Mixily Pixie is, <laughs> I don't know. Superman can only get rid of him when he gets him to say his name backwards. Oh, it's you again, Mr. Kiltipsism. Not Kiltipsism, Mixius Pitlake. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do, oh, nuts. <laughs> But this is great. I love how they put them together because they are basically the same character. Batmite is Batman's biggest fan. I mean, he creates danger out of nowhere just to see Batman fight. I mean, it's hilarious. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I recognize this guy. Oh, no. So we've got Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, holding his lantern. I think a, just a little bit of paint chip off the... Uh, hand holding the lantern because as you can see the lantern wiggles free moving so that's pretty cool all right a marvel favorite now we've got wolverine 
Oh, yeah. Just boom. Just showing off the claws. I mean, if you got him, flaunt him. He's got his classic blue and yellow suit on, which, fingers crossed, we get to see him in an upcoming movie like that. Who knows? We still don't know who's being casted for this role, but whoever it is has big shoes to fill. Another Marvel statue, we've got the Winter Soldier. Kind of looked like me before I cut my hair, huh? Huh? So we've got Bucky Barnes here, one of Captain America's oldest friends, uh, captured by the Red Skull and brainwashed into becoming a Hydra agent. One of the best there is. His metal arm looks awesome. Now he doesn't have the, the MCU mask, he's just got a, a normal superhero mask on. So yeah, Bucky Barnes, a.k.a. the Winter Soldier. Alright, three more for Wave 2. We've got Shazam, a.k.a. Captain Marvel. This is like a, a magical Superman. I mean, he's a little kid that transforms into a superhero using the magic of Shazam, the wizard. Okay, so Shazam's got his classic over-the-one-shoulder cape here. It's uh, got two layers to it with a couple of little, like, crosses. or They almost look like flowers. Big old lightning bolt on his chest, red and yellow suit with the yellow boots. All right, nice. Oh, tight squeeze. All right, next one we've got is Hawkman. Another really delicate one with the wings coming out here. He's got two sets of wings, one on his helmet and then one on his back. Holding up his weapon of choice, his mace. Very comic accurate Hawkman here. Green pants with red undies on the outside. That, my friends, is bold. Ooh, those wings are nice. Alrighty. Last one of wave two, and it's a good one. We've got Martian Manhunter here. Really heavy, I mean, and the details are fantastic. We've got the bright, vibrant colors, some red, green, of course, for his skin. That's just an old school, good looking Martian right there. Last survivor of Mars, one of the most powerful members of the Justice League. Not only can he shapeshift, but he can uh, phase through objects, telekinesis, teleca everything. Yeah, I'd take him in a pickup game for sure. Do we power through? I think we do, wave three. I never did realize how long it takes to unbox a bunch of little statues. But if there's one thing I did realize that summer in detention, it's that good things come to people who wait and people who subscribe.